This is the non-invasive method to determine oxygen ingress in PET bottles and the shelf life of your products. To start off, you need to weigh the empty bottle, so later on the exact filling volume, and with it, the headspace in the bottle can be determined. Then you can start the filling procedure. The PET bottle is placed in a nitrogen flushed glove box and filled with nitrogen saturated water. Put all the required equipment into the glove box. You will need a measuring cylinder, a container which allows easy filling of the bottle, an oxygen sensitive cap with a safety screw and the PET bottle you want to test. This is the gas inlet where the glove box is connected to the nitrogen bottle. And here is the gas outlet. In this case, the outlet is big enough so the polymer optical fiber of an oxygen dipping probe can be run through. Inside the glove box, a hose is connected to the nitrogen inlet and divided into two ends. On one end, another hose is connected to saturate the gas phase in the bottle with nitrogen. On the other end, an air stone is connected. Place the air stone in a container with water. To avoid bacterial growth, which would lead to oxygen consumption, silver nitrate was added to the water. Use the oxygen dipping probe to determine the oxygen content inside the glove box, which should be below 0.2% oxygen. The oxygen content of the nitrogen saturated water should be below 100 parts per billion. Put the hose end inside the bottle to remove the remaining oxygen. Then you can fill the bottle with the nitrogen saturated water. In our case, we use 500 milliliters. Close the bottle with the oxygen sensitive cap. You can moisten the sealing rings to facilitate inserting the tight fitting cap. The sealing rings should not be pushed out of place or protrude from the bottle neck. No atmospheric oxygen should get inside the bulb through the closure. A safety screw adapted to the bottle thread is used to fix the closure. Then the filled bottle can be removed from the glove box and put into a climate oven for several hours. Before starting the measurement, you weigh the filled bottle. The bottle is conditioned and shaken vigorously for 10 minutes prior to measurements. Measurements should be performed in a controlled environment at approximately 30 degrees Celsius and 50% relative humidity. Leave the bottle in a horizontal position so the oxygen sensitive cap stays in the liquid phase. Connect the polymer optical fiber to the oxygen sensitive cap and the transmitter. Put the temperature sensor in the reference bottle treated the same way as the measurement bottle. Start the software on the PC. Clicking the Start Measurement button opens a window. Choose the desired sampling rate. We recommend a sampling rate of 10 seconds. Then click Measure and Log and choose a file location and file name. Now click Start. Everyday measurements or continuous measurements can be carried out in a non-invasive way for several weeks to determine oxygen ingress in PET bottles. Take 10 measurement points and use the mean value. For further processing, you can open the file with Excel. The data are stored as a text file. A window opens. Choose Delimited and click Next. 
then choose semicolon, click next, and then finish. Your measurement data are displayed. Now you can process the data and get mean values. In case two comparable bottles with different oxygen barrier layers are tested, the barrier improvement factor BIF can be calculated. Fill in the total volume of the bottles and the filling volume which you have determined by weighing the bottles in the green highlighted areas of the table. The red highlighted values will be calculated automatically. When you have filled in all the values, the BIF is shown in the box highlighted blue. This is the non-invasive method to determine oxygen ingress in PET bottles and the shelf life of your products.